We've just received these rock sliders back from the powder coaters. Made by JCR Off Road, all 5 mil steel. We've got rock lights, high lift notches. These things are real nice. All right, let's get them on. Bit of a late start this morning. Sliders should go pretty well with this uh, bar work on the front. Here he is here, marking out. Too easy, let's get into it. Got a box of goodies. A box of goodies. First up, mark, drill, and fit a riv nut at each end of the body armor, and then mount to make marking out the rest of the holes simpler. To avoid tearing the sheet metal, we're using a step drill bit, and then finishing with a 1732. Which... No, well, we're pretty uh, prepared with this one, Michael. Drill one hole in your car, and we're off to get a bigger drill. drill. Half a hole. Half a hole. I guess that's the problem, we need another drill bit. Yep. So, off to the bloody hardware store we go. Forty dollars for one item. One drill bit. You got it. Unbelievable. Go to get one incredibly overpriced drill bit. And here we are. Filling up with damn fuel. We can never get this bloody job done. I don't even go to the shops without getting fuel. <laughs> Stop number three. Yeah, I guess. Be there in a minute. Who's that? Oh, Luke. Big dog. He wants a hand with the bar. So what, we're going there now? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stop. Stop. Right, now, with the body armour installed on only the two rib nuts, we mark the remaining holes, then remove the armour and drill away. Using the supplied hardware, go ahead and install all the rib nuts, being careful not to over torque them. A bead of silicon will avoid any of that bare metal rusting. Now with all the rib nuts installed, it's time for final fitment. These sliders have integrated LED lights, so now's the time to wire these up. While Nick's doing that, Mark removes the three body mounts under the Jeep. And then, tap on all the clip nuts. What the fuck is he doing? Hey! What are you doing? I got my lawnmower. What about this? Oh my god! After getting Nick back on track, we're ready to bolt the slider on. Loosely install the three body mount bolts, followed by the six slider bolts. Once you're happy with the placement, torque everything up. Finishing touches on the sliders, Marco? Yep, just wiring in the lights. Which is pretty easy because I installed a Switch Pros, so we've got a positive and a negative waiting for it. And if you look in the cab, there's a switch ready to go for it. There it is. This will obviously be rock sliders. Bluetooth compatible as well. Yep. You can switch them on from wherever you want. Yep, that's right. Very nice. 